Seen as one of London's most dangerous junctions, it had witnessed 80 collisions since 2012, but has now been replaced by a new layout for two-way traffic. But other changes to the area are also afoot, and one man isn't happy. Local resident and campaigner Peter Tatchell says the real story around this area is about social cleansing, in particular at the Haygate estate. Here's Peter's personal take. The Haygate Council estate at Elephant and Castle was built in the 1970s with spacious modern housing for low-income families. But today, it looks like this. It's one of the largest redevelopment sites in Britain. I've lived locally for nearly 40 years. I've seen the local working class community forced out. It is social cleansing on a massive scale. The original 1,212 council flats are being replaced by twice as many new homes. But only 82 of them will be social housing units. The rest will be unaffordable for most Londoners, with many being sold off plan to foreign investors. All that anybody who lived on the Haygate would have been able to afford anything. I'm here with Jerry Flynn, a former council tenant on the Haygate estate. So where have all the council tenants who used to live here, where have they gone? Well, most of the council tenants still live in the area, in the Woolworth area, but very few of them live in any new, count, uh, any new accommodation. They've just moved into current council housing stock. Uh, the leaseholders who are on the estate who bought their council homes, they've gone much farther afield. They're scattered to the outer boroughs, um, simply because they can't afford to buy anywhere that's being built here. Uh, the compensation wasn't sufficient. That's not the only reason this is a very bad deal. The Haygate site is prime real estate, just over a mile from the Houses of Parliament. In 2007, Southwark Council valued the 25-acre site at £150 million. But later, it sold the site for a mere £50 million. That's one third of the original estimated value, and much less than the selling price for comparable sites in the area. The 1.5 acre Trebica site was sold to private developers for 40 million pounds and the 3.5 acre shopping centre site was sold for 80 million pounds. Both sold for many millions more per acre than Southwark Council secured for the 25 acre Haygate site. What's happening at the Elephant and Castle is symptomatic of what's happening all over London, where developers have a stranglehold over local councils and where working class communities are being broken up and dispersed in the name of regeneration. Peter Tatchell reporting there, as they uh, say. And Peter Tatchell's um, here with us now, along with Peter John, who is the leader of um, Southwark Council. Well, alle the allegations, accusations set out in full there. Uh, respond to them underpriced or you didn't get as much money as you should have done you're not creating enough social housing uh, what's going wrong at the Haygate estate well the elephant castle is about creating uh, a new part of southwark where you know you have new housing new jobs new opportunities and you know what you had previously uh, was not a successful estate the Haygate estate was a failing estate people didn't want to live there uh, and really people underachieving in terms of health, education and employment terms. And in order to create a better mixed community where people can thrive and get on, you know, something had to give. And, you know, I think it's also really important to acknowledge that, that the Hague, as I say, was very poor quality housing. Uh, and our aspiration as a council, with the largest council landlord in London, our, our aspiration is absolutely that people have the best quality housing, and that's what we're delivering uh, across Southwark. Do you accept you didn't get what you should have done, commercial value for the site, and do you accept that you're not providing the kind of social or affordable housing that you would hope to, or people we would all expect you to do? Well, just on those two points, I mean, the, the 50 million that Peter talked about is just one part of the financial package. It's a very complex financial package, and at the end of the day, when profit is coming out of this, this site, the council has a 50% share of the profits that's delivered. So it will be a lot more effectively that the council gets for the land than the £50 million headline figure that we just saw. At least 25% of the housing delivered on site is affordable housing. Uh, that includes social rented uh, uh, in greater numbers than, than Peter described. But what's more important is that part of the Elephant and Castle Regeneration Plan 
uh, is that there's going to be something like 1,750 affordable housing units across the wider area. So you don't have a concentration of social housing in one place, but it's spread out across a wider area. And I think that's better news. That creates that mixed community where you've got more jobs and more opportunities. Over 400 people, Southwark residents, already employed at the Elephant and Castle Peter site. Peter Tatchell, did you, um, do you think the old Haygate estate was a great place to live? It was very good at, in its time. Lots of people would have preferred the estate to be refurbished. And according to one uh, surveyor, it could have been refurbished for a cost of £35 million, um, which is a, a very better deal for local people. Um, even if that was an underestimate, it would have never cost the £65 million the council had to pay out to empty the estate. So this is bad economics across the board. Look at what the situation is now. A two-bedroom flat is £738,000. A three-bedroom flat, the latest ones, are selling for £1.3 This is totally excluding the vast majority of local people. It is meaning that the character of the area is being changed. The, the livelihood and community that once okay. existed has been dismembered. Peter, and that is on, totally wrong. Well, look, as I say, the Haygate was not a great place to live. There's a reason why Vigilante and zombie films were filmed on the Haygate estate, because it was a, a failing part, unfortunately, of Southwark. Um, and as I say, you know, this is... Uh, I think it's important that we have uh, employment opportunities created, 400 jobs uh, created on-site already. That's got to be good news. Peter, and, 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 and it, even if it was a failing estate, why is it that out of 2,700 new homes only 79 are going to be socially rented. Why That's, a That's a scandal. That's a scandal. Well, no, because... Uh, it's a there, reality there, of, of commercial prices, isn't it? I mean, that, that, that is the reality. And, and the figures that Peter quoted about the cost of, of uh, to buy homes, I mean, that's the reality of London. It's not just the reality of Haygate. The reality is that we're not building enough homes in London. And if you're interested and want to talk about social cleansing, Peter, I think you should be talking about the government's uh, proposals under the Housing and Planning Bill, which is really going to socially cleanse, I think, central London with extending right to buy to housing association uh, tenants and making councils like ours sell some of our high value assets in order to pay for it. I think that's the scandal of social cleansing and not what we do. Do you think, uh, Peter, actually, yeah, do you think, Peter, actually, you, 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 the, the wrong <coughs> enemy is, is in your sights and you know, the one you might be aiming it at is here? You know? well, well, it's both. Okay. But as a Labour council, as a Labour council, building 11,000 new council homes over 20 or 30 years, more than any yeah. other. Well, that may be, but right now we have lost one, over 1,100 council flats let's, let's, in let, the let, area, and that is a huge <clears throat> loss. I didn't buy my council flat. I could have this, bought it. I could, me... I could have bought my council flat for 15,000 pounds. I refused to because I wanted to preserve council Brilliant. housing Let me just bring Greg hands in. Let me bring Greg hands in here about you know seeing the kind of tensions that are created, shall we say, by you know difficult times, financial times. Well, uh, I, I don't want to necessarily comment on the specifics of the scheme in Southwark, uh, but in general, I think estate regeneration is a very, very good thing to be doing. Uh, in, in, in my constituency of Chelsea and Fulham, we've also got some, some older estates that desperately need, some that don't meet the decent home standard, some that need extensive renovation. I don't think we should need to be ideological about uh, what kind of homes are built in addition. Uh, um, I think it's important that the uh, homes be regenerated. We do as much as we can to protect the existing social housing and existing mix. But if it means adding in additional private capital and adding new homes, I think that's a good thing. And by the way, Tim, actually, the Very government briefly. is doubling the amount of money being put into estate regeneration. We're also doing big programmes on London Help to Buy, uh, starter homes and shared ownership, doubling Gareth, all of that yeah. as well. Very, very briefly, very brief. Well, I just wanted to pick up uh, Peter's point about the forced sell-off of council homes, which is going to have a huge impact on uh, London and exacerbate, sorry, okay, that does not exacserbate the housing, what's housing Peter, I, know, I know. Another time. Thanks yeah, very much thank to, you. Uh, to you both. Uh, now for the rest of the news.